Alright, Shalom Akim, Shalom Yeshad Allah. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukhaha Kodash, giving double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. Alright, I'm going to be going into keeping your damn mouth shut, man. Alright, that, that simple as that, just keep your mouth shut, you know. Um, myself included, obviously. You know, first and foremost, I direct, you know, what, what we speak about, direct it towards yourself. You know, make sure that you're doing that. So, you know, growing in this truth, I'm learning things, man. You know, as, as every brother should, you know. And one of the main things that, that I had to learn was to keep my mouth shut, you know. And, you know, for certain things I would, but there would be other things, you know, when you have all this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, you know, it's, it's something beautiful. And, you know, just like when you get a brand new car, you know, you wanna show it off. You wanna you wanna show people, you know, that, that you got a nice whip. You wanna show people that you got nice shoes, all right? But when you have this truth, you wanna show people and, and, and let them know what this truth is, all right? Not not to, you know, for people to boast or, or for Salaki, for you to boast, or for you to be seen as something else, all right? But but to show people that that there is a way, you know. So that that's one of the things I have to I had to learn to, to shut the hell up about, all right. And and there's still times that you know I I, I wish I would have just shut up about, you know. But that's the Most High teaching you, you know, when you should speak and when you shouldn't. And you know I wanted to make this lesson earlier and speaking with the brother Yabatiz, I had had really. Uh, confirmed to make this lesson you know because that's one of the things that he brought out you know so making vows all right making make, you know speaking out of your ass basically you know there's a lot of things that you may feel and, and you want to say it but hey actions speak louder than words man you know the actions speak louder than words do you love the most high yes or no if you say yes, then are you trying to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability? Are you reading? Are you studying? All right. Are are you uh, <clears throat> you know teaching? Are you going out to the highways and the hedges? Uh, are you proclaiming the truth? Are you preaching the gospel? All right. There's there, there's things and steps and, and and stuff that we have to follow. All right. Rules, regulations that you have to follow being in this truth. You know. So not just speaking about it, but being about it, man. You know, so this is Judges 11, chapter uh, chapter 11, verse 29. Then the spirit of Yahweh came upon Jephthah, and he passed over Gilead and Manasseh, and over Mizpeh of Manasseh, Zalaki, and over Mizpeh of Gilead, and from Mizpeh of Gilead he passed over unto the children of Ammon. All right, because the Ammonites were going up against Israel, because they wanted some of their land back, you know. They wanted that land back that Israel was was given to by Yahabasham Yahushai. And that's one of the things that Jephthah has sent his messengers and told them, like, hey, check it. The Most High gave me this land. So, like, if the Most High gave us this land, Israel, his elect, his people, all right? And, and if if your God would have given you that land, would you not have taken it? All right, so that's, that, that's the conflict that's going between Jephthah and, and Ammon in this in this chapter. Alright, but but the Ammonites they didn't listen. They didn't listen to what he said, so they were preparing for war. Alright, so Jephthah was preparing for war as well. Verse 30. And Jephthah vowed a vow unto Yahweh and said, If thou shalt without fail, alright, if thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon into my hands, then it shall be that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be Yahweh's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering alright so when I read this passage what I see is doubt alright what I see is doubt you know and you know going back years ago <clears throat> going back years ago um, before I was in the truth all right. <clears throat> I remember, you know, when when a certain thing, when I would be scared of a certain thing or or I wanted something to go a certain way, 
you know, I would, I would speak and I would say, if, 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 if you're real, all right, speaking to the Lord, if you're real, then have this happen this way, all right, and, and it would happen that way, and I'm like, okay, then I know you're real, all right, that's basically what I see from, from Jephthah, all right, Lord, if, if, if you're really with me, all right, whatever comes out of my house to greet me after the, the war is over, and I come to him in peace, then, then that belongs to you, and I will burn it as a burnt offering, all right, those are vows that you make, certain vows you shouldn't make, man, you know, <clears throat> I have this uh, cousin, all right, and he made a vow with the Most High, and they said he was going to keep his job, all right, and if he kept his job, then, you know, he was, you know, in some way pleasing the Lord, is how he saw it, all right, now, when it came to pass that he lost his job, all right, later on, he found out, you know, he his eyes started acting weird, all right, his vision was, was starting to be blurry on one side, he started using glasses, and then as weeks progressed, he started seeing that he couldn't, um, he, he couldn't move his eye like he should have, all right, he would turn to, I believe it's every time he turned to the, like, you know, he turned his eyes to the right, one eye would stay, all right, and, and the other would, would actually move. So he started having that problem and, you know, he started getting checked. Nobody saw anything, you know, after months of being checked. And then eventually, you know, he um, went to the doctor and they found out. <coughs> they found out that he actually had a small tumor. All right. So they found it out in, in, in a decent time for them to actually get rid of it. All right. So, you know, he vowed a vow that he shouldn't have vowed, you know. He said he was going to start going to church more if he kept that job and he was going to start, you know, uh, reading more and being closer to the Lord. Well, he didn't do any of that. All right. He did the exact opposite. So when all that stuff happened, he was afraid. He was scared because he knew that he vowed a vow that he shouldn't have done, you know, and that's exactly what I see when when Jephthah did what he did. You know, he was like, all right, show me that you're real. Wanting a sign. And, and that's what you see with a lot of people nowadays. They want a sign from the Most High so they can believe. All right. So verse uh, verse 32, it says, So Jephthah passed over unto the children of Ammon to fight against him. And Yahweh delivered them into his hands. And he smote them from a roar even till thou come to Minith, Minith, even twenty cities, and unto the plain of the vineyards, with a very great slaughter. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Israel. All right, so Yahweh delivered Israel. All right, and then it says, and Jephthah came to Mizpeh, unto his house, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances. And she was his only child. Beside her, he had neither son nor daughter. And it came to pass when he saw her, that he rent his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, thou hast brought me very low. And thou art one of them that trouble me. For I have opened my mouth unto Yahweh, and I cannot go back. All right, so whatever, you, whatever vow you make to the Most High, you have to proceed through it. Because if you don't, there's consequences, all right? There's consequences to those actions, man, all right? And if you don't pull through for what you do, then the Most High is going to have you go through those consequences, all right? Something simple like um, fasting, all right? Which really is not that simple, all right? Because a lot of you simple people, simple-minded people, you can't even do that, all right? But something like fasting, you know, just, just do it. You know, don't, don't, don't boast. Don't say anything to the most high. Don't, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, this and that. And, you know, I'm going to do this for you and this, this and that. Hey, hey, you might wake up that next morning when you say you're going to start. You might wake up and the most high may have it where you're thirsty. And you go to the fridge, you start drinking water and you see that slice of cheese. And you're like, oh man, let, let me eat some of that string cheese. 
So you start eating some of that uh, string cheese, not even thinking. And it comes to pass that you just broke your promise, man. You just broke your vow. So it's better to keep your mouth shut. All right. Same thing when it comes to this truth. You know, the brother Yaibatiza had made a video. Are you are you looking out for your brothers? All right. Because if <coughs> they see you acquainted, all right, not acquainted, but they see you with a brother. All right? They see you two being brothers. And, you know, the time comes where, you know, they, you start talking to them, you start hitting them up about the scriptures and, you know, they look at you funny and they're like, man, this dude's this dude's fucking crazy. He says that the white people are Edomites and they're not going to make it. All right. And then they look at you, but then they'll also look at that brother and they'll start saying, hey, but, you know, this brother and this guy, you know, these two guys, they're they're pretty close. You know, so you got to watch what you're saying, man, when it comes to this truth. You know, when it comes to this truth, you need to trust Yahweh Yahashai. So, <clears throat> you know, like Jephthah, <coughs> like Jephthah, he didn't have all his trust in Yahweh Yahashai. Because if he did, he wouldn't have vowed that vow. He would have just believed. Just like David. David didn't say, you know what, if if I kill Goliath, the first son that I have, all right, that's the son that I'm going to give into slavery. Or that's the son that I'm going to have given into, uh, you know, um, a burnt offering. You know, David was like, yo, I believe in the Most High. The Most High got me. I'm with the Most High and who stands against me? This guy, this guy, Goliath, he's going to stand up against me. I'm with the Most High. Nobody can touch me if I'm with the Most High. All right. And there's a difference between boasting there's a difference between being bold and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says, and she said unto him, My father, if thou hast opened thy mouth unto Yahweh, do to me according to that which hath proceeded out of thy mouth. For as much as Yahweh hath taken vengeance for thee of thine enemies, even of the children of Ammon. All right. It says, and she said unto her father, let this thing be done for me. Let me alone two months that I may go up and down upon the mountains and bewail my virginity. I and my fellows. All right. So, hey, the time, <laughs> you know, the time she knew her time was coming because she knew that her father had slipped up. All right. And spoken out of her mouth or his mouth, Salakia, that her father had spoken up out of his mouth. Something that he shouldn't have done. All right. So so she was <clears throat> going to be well her virginity. All right. Because no man had known her. All right. She was she was a virgin. She was a young woman. All right. And no man had known her. No man had been with her. You know, that's why she was still living in her father's house. It says. Uh, and he said, go. And he sent her away for two months. All right, for two months, she did that. And she went with her companions and bewailed her virginity upon the mountains. And it came to pass at the end of the two months that she returned to her father, who did with her according to his vow, which he vowed. And she knew no man, and it was a custom in Israel that the daughters of Israel went yearly to lament the daughter of Jephthah, the Gal uh, Galadite, Gileadite, for f four days in a year. All right, so what you vow, you have to go through with it, man. All right. There, there's no reason why you should say when well, you're going to do something and then you don't. All right. Like that parable, of the two sons in uh, the book of um, the book of Matthew, I believe. <coughs> I believe it's Matthew 21 and verse 28. Let me see. It's a lock, yeah. I'm out here driving. Con. It says uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 21 and verse 28. What think ye? A certain man had two sons. And he came to the first and he said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterward he repented and he went. All right. So just do it. All right. Don't don't vow that vow. You know, just do it. You know? And I said, uh, um, verse 30. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. And he went not. 
whether of them twain did the will of the Father? They said unto him, The first. Yahweh answered, answered unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of Yahweh before you. It says, For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him, and ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward that ye might believe him. All right, so which one was more? Which one was counted as worthy? The one that actually did it. Did he make a vow? No, he didn't make a vow. He just did it. All right, same thing with those, um, with our people that like to make these vows and, oh, I'm going to, you know, crawl up these steps in my knees and I'm going to, you know, when I make it to the top, I'm going to be this, this and that. I've seen that before, man. All right, where Jake climbs up these these steps, man, th th a bunch of steps in their knees. All right, and some of them don't even make it to the top, you know, because by the time that they're at the top, their body is bleeding from their knees, man, you know, and that's just, you know, that's just something stupid, you know. So let me get Proverbs chapter 17, and I believe that one's verse 28. Come on, Proverbs 17 and 28, even a fool. When he holdeth his peace is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. All right, so you, you have to know when to speak. All right, like it says in Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything, man. You know, there's a time to open up and, and speak, and there's a time to close up and, and stay shut. You know, especially when, it, when it, it's about the scriptures, especially when you're being taught and you don't understand certain things. All right. Don't don't come out of your own heart because the heart is 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 uh, deceitful above all things, man. And the tongue, you know, so don't come out of your own heart and don't start saying a bunch of shit that you feel, you know, keep your mouth shut and let your Hashem Yahweh Shai do the rest, man. Have faith in your Hashem Yahweh Shai that he's going to show to you that the Edomites are the so-called self-proclaimed white people and that the Israelites are the Negroes, Latinos and the Native Americans. All right. Stuff like that. We need to keep our mouth shut. All right. So let me get a book of Mark in chapter 14. Let me see. Maybe it's all the way down here. It says Mark 14 and 66. And as Peter was beneath in the palace, there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And thou also was with Yahweh Shai of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand um, I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch. Let's lock you. And he went out into the porch. It says, uh, 